Okay, guys, I am back. <laughs> I got some beers sent kindly from Mr. Carlisle Smith. This one here is the Galena. Nice green cap, says GAL, straight on the top of it. I've been trying not to disturb it because uh, I don't want to stir up anything. Let's get it cracked and we'll see what it's about. He kindly sent me uh, uh, four wonderful beer. Hmm? No hiss. Oh, it smells wonderful. Okay. Uh, he sent me four wonderful beers. There's one that I can't wait to get into. I'm trying the lighter flavors first before I get to the heavier ones because there's a chocolate stat in there that was been calling my name. I meant to get to this about a week and a half ago or whatever. But uh, here I am now. It's been uh, it's just after Thanksgiving. It's Sunday today. Sunday afternoon. It's a little cloudy out. Huh. About 68 degrees, something maybe? Not that that's important. Wet glass, pardon the wet glass. Let's get a pour on this guy. Oh yeah, look at that. Didn't have a whole lot of hiss straight out of the uh, popping the cap. Oh, it looks good, wow. No, it's got carbonation for sure, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pouring up a nice little head. I'm trying not to pour it too aggressively. It's got a nice head, a dark amberish color. Look at that there, boys. I'm I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. I did that with the last one. <laughs> anyway, let's give her a look. All right, so you're seeing what I'm seeing. A little uh, little condensation on the glass. A nice red color. About a finger ahead. Nice uh, nice bubbles. Like, uh, big bubbles. But I guess that's a good thing. Oh, it smells, uh, it smells hoppy. I'm guessing it's Galena? <laughs> Imagine that. It smells hoppy. It, it smells very inviting. It, it, it just, it beckons you to put your face into it. <laughs> All right, here it is. Thank you, Mr. Carlisle. Look at the color on that. It's, uh... It's a uh, sure beautiful beer. This, the, the sunlight's not really bright right now, but that yeah, sure looks like a nice one. All right, can't wait to let's dive in. Ooh, now that's good. All right, man, that's good right there. Uh, I, I dare to say creamy. I know there's probably nothing that has to do with cream in it. It, it. Uh, Man, that, that just, uh, it, it, it's, it's got a tongue coating sensation. Very well balanced, very clean. Uh, this, this is something like a commercial type beer. Very clean, you can see the bubbles coming up through it. It, it, it. It's a darker beer, but you can still see the little bubbles cruising up the side of it. Although it didn't, it didn't have the, the, the cannon pop. It it uh, it's got some bubbles to it. Very good, boy. If y'all could just get a little whiff on that, uh, I don't. I'm I'm guessing the hops are Galena. Uh, hmm. I'm so good at this, aren't I? Amazing beer, Mr. Carlisle. You've done it again, boy. If I could just make these consistently like that, I'd be a proud man. Be willing to share it with everybody. My beers are all right. Some of them turn out better than others. Uh, I, I, I got a pretty mean IPA that I make. Uh, uh, it takes a long time to do because you got to do that second uh, the dry hopping thing. Okay, I'm trying to keep these short. I'm going to whip up the head a little bit. It's all there, man. This is this is the full meal deal for this one. Well, I, let me use that descriptor for later because something tells me that ch ch uh, cherry uh, uh, stout, uh, chocolate stout is going to be the... the the mouth filler <laughs> be, the one, be the one that makes you gain weight <laughs> that one this is a fine fine beer this is a uh, I don't know the ABV on it uh, it doesn't taste very strong it's got good malt malt flavor to it the more I'm 
it's well balanced. It, 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 the, the, the malts and the hops are working well together. It seems so well balanced. Uh, I could drink a few of these. <laughs> I could drink quite a few of these. I'm going to have to look up the recipe on that one. All right, guys. Uh, I might chime back in when it gets a little warmer. I want to get a little further through it. But so far, so good. All right. Catch, catch you later. All right. So I let it warm up a bit. This is the the Galena one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And, and I'll tell you what, the, the more I've uh, been holding it and sipping on it, the more I'm realizing this is a wonderful beer. Uh, I don't have the best nose, y'all know that. So I, what I got out of it was uh, some grapefruit. So I passed it to my 11 year old. He thought the same thing. Took it to the wife. She says, well, it's citrus. I said, yeah, but is it? I said, what, you, what else do you think? She says, well, it's got some grapefruit in there. That's what I thought. Grapefruit. Yum. All right. This is a wonderful beer. Man, if I could just produce these uh, every few times, I'd be pleased with it. That is a nice thing. Oh, thank you, camera. It looked like you just brightened up for me. Look at the color in that. That is a wonderful beer. Uh, the head's sticking right on it. I hadn't swirled it or nothing. It's just uh, it's got some nice little bubbles rising up through there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'll stir it gently not to spill it because this is a wonderful beer. Thank you, Mr. Carlisle. Look at that, it's got the legs to it. I'm guessing the ABV might be pretty high on this one. <laughs> oh no, uh, that, that's uh, that sure, sure a treat. Thank you again, sir. All right, so this is the Galena, and I think it's a smash beer. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that. Be, be sure to check out Carlisle Smith in the comments down below. I'll remember to put him in there. Thank you again, Mr. Carlisle. Got a few more of these to do. I can't wait to get to that chocolate stout. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I guess I'm out for this one. Uh, I'll be back for another. Uh, love, peace, funky vibes. Y'all be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment, and share, and the sun's coming back out. Isn't that wonderful? All right, guys. Catch y'all later. Adios.